Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So for today's tutorial, we're gonna be doing this awesome alien fire look. And it is totally inspired by NYX. Ooh! Oh my God, I almost had a heart attack. But it's totally inspired by NYX Cosmetics Fire Palette from their Elemental Collection. I did this look on my Facebook Live, so I just downloaded the video and edited it, which is why the quality might be a little bit off of the actual tutorial. But anyway, so I'm inviting you all to go and follow my Facebook page and like me on, um, add me on Facebook. And that way you guys can always see these looks before I edit them and post them. My name is Jose Montoya. And until then, so keep watching and let's just get right into it. What's up guys? So as always, we're going to start off with priming our face. I am using the Justin Hines um, face and eye primer here. If you guys want to check them out, it's at Justin Hines Cosmetics on Instagram. I highly recommend it. This primer has like an aloe vera base, so it's really good for the skin. Right after doing that, I'm going to be using some Elmer's glue stick to cover my eyebrows with some powder. But before the powder, I'm just going to let it dry. That way um, I can ensure that it's going to have a really good smooth finish. And now I'm going to go in with my normal Kat Von D foundation. And while I work on that, I'm also going to be applying another layer of glue stick. As you guys know, I always apply about three to four layers of glue stick and then the powder. And as always, my powder is just um, NYX Ultra HD Finishing Powder mixed with some regular good old fashioned baby powder. And for the brows, I'm going to be going in with the Krylon TV Paint Stick in FS36. That is my natural skin color. That is the best foundation that I would definitely recommend if you're trying to cover your brows. It's so thick that it just goes on super smooth and it truly covers up everything. Now I'm using some Cody Airspun to set my whole face and then dusting off the excess. And for my eyes I am using the MAC Painter Pot Primer. I'm just going to be using that all over my lids. And then I'm going to go in with the Fire Palette from NYX Cosmetics. And I'm going to be creating a crease using all the brown tones in it. And then I'm going to be working my way to the reds and everything and the yellows as you've seen from the preview. And I'm exaggerating the crease since I have really hooded eyes, which is one of the reasons why I cover my brows so that I can really emphasize the crease that I'm doing. And I'm just going to be blending that out, make sure that everything looks very nice, smooth, and really well finished. And I'm using the brown, the burgundy, and a little bit of the red to really have a nice, consistent color theme throughout this whole look. And like I said, just keep on blending. The whole key to this look that you will see from the beginning to the end is blending. I don't really want it harsh lines for any of this look. I want this to be something different, something fresh. So I feel like the more you blend, the better the look will be. And I'm just taking the same burgundy and red colors and doing it right underneath my bottom lash line. And you can always do this look with different colors. It just depends on the whole color scheme. But I would say to stay with one certain color palette. So if you're gonna do blues, make sure you do all different types of blues, maybe a pop of green. But I wouldn't recommend jumping back and forth between different colors or else that's just not gonna work on the whole color. And I'm just using the same MAC Painterly Pot to create and really define that crease. And I'm going to go in with the yellow from the fire palette. And just packing that on very smoothly, very, very, very smoothly. The good thing about the NYX color um, is that they're always so bright and so pigmented. So even a little can go a long way with it. And I'm just going to go in with some fine black liner right underneath the lash line. And now to contour, I'm going to be using the same 
um, next color palette, the fire. I first start with the regular brown from my Anastasia Beverly Hills um, contour kit. And I'm just gonna be really chiseling my cheekbones, my forehead, my nose, my chin. And then I'm gonna go back in with the fire palette and uh, just go in with the red and the burgundy to really define it. Like I said, you pick one color pattern, one color theme, and you just stick with it throughout the whole look. And that will just really make everything come together at the end. And then right underneath, I'm gonna be putting the same powder that I always use to bake and really highlight the high points of my face and underneath my contours so that I can look really really sharp and I'm going to be curling my eyelashes and putting on some 301s this 301s you can buy them from my Etsy shop at House of Montoya if you're interested in ordering some online and I want a super full dramatic lashes for this look and then just to make them be extra black, I actually put some eyeliner, some gel eyeliners right underneath them. And I'm going to add some bottom lashes. I'm just cut a big pair, cut it up, and that's how I made these little tiny ones. And then this is the part that I was talking about, adding in all the reds to your contours. And I'm gonna go in with some NYX glitter glue and I'm just gonna put that right underneath my eye to create some red and gold, um, I guess you can say face marks, glitter tears, whatever you prefer. It's just really to accent the whole look and make it look cooler and add more dimension to it. And these are actually craft glitters that I'm using. I got them from Walmart and it's just the ultra fine craft glitter, not the chunky one and some 99 cent gems that I'm gonna be putting all over my face. I like to put the lash glue first way before I even start applying the gems, that way it can get tacky. But when the time comes to apply them, and I'm just gonna be using some tweezers to put them in place and then press them down with my finger. And then these gems, you can put them in any shape, any form, However you want your face to be highlighted and you know just details to it and some Kat Von D eyeliner to create a dramatic crease underneath and then just a little bit on top and I didn't want to have like a wing for this look so I just put it right on top of the lash line and called it a day. And now with the same trooper color I'm going to be going in and creating some dots all over. This adds more dimension to the look like I always say with my looks the more detail and the better that they are. The more attention you put in, the better the outcome. As you can tell, this takes it to a whole new level. And I just put that on the high point and where you can actually see them. I mean, it wouldn't make sense to put them on the chin and stuff like that because you can't really tell when someone's looking at you straight on. So I just put, put them wherever I you know, wanted to accentuate my fingers. I'm going to go in with Lax from Colourpop and just putting that on my upper lip. Like I said, I wanted this look to be really cool, really creative, really alien-esque. So I didn't want to do lipstick all over my lips. So I just went ahead and did it on the top lip. And again, I followed the same dark burgundy color pattern. Now these are actual cuts that I used from some foil paper. And I just made the shapes with note cards since they are a little bit thicker than regular paper and then I glued them on to the foil paper and then I just glued them on my face with lash adhesive. This is the really cool part about it. And I just strategically placed them all over my face where I knew that it would make my face look slimmer as well as add more details and create more eccentricness to it. And like I said, I glued all of this down with lash glue. You're more than welcome to use latex as well. And then I went ahead and I put more of those gems all over the foil paper to really create the royal alien 
look and idea throughout the whole thing. Like I said, the more attention to details that you are, the better the payoff is for the whole look. And then I went back in and added more dots all over with the Kalman D Trooper. And now we're going to be working on the neck detail as you guys have seen most of my Halloween looks I always bring it down to the neck. I think it just creates a whole different illusion than just you know regular face makeup. So I'm just using some red cream um, makeup and then blending it out with the red from the NYX fire palette. And I just highlighted and made a line following my regular collarbones and then some, my neck like my regular neck. And like I said, you want to be blended throughout this whole look. And now we're going to go in with some more foil paper cutouts to add more details and make everything be matching and symmetrical. So if you do one thing on one side, you do it on the other. So pretty much if you do the foil paper on the top, you do foil paper on the neck. And then the same, you add some red little stones to it, some black dots. And then I'm going to go in as well with the yellow since there wasn't any on my neck and include that all over just to add more highlight to it and fit it as well with the eyes. And I'm going to take some really quick gold dust and just put it all over my lip. Another little gem. And then some highlight. This is my favorite highlighter ever. It's from Justin Heinz Cosmetics. And bam, there you go. That's the look. All right, guys. So that was the look for today. I hope you love it. As always, thank you guys so much for your love and support. Before you leave, don't forget to subscribe, like, and comment down below. Let me know what else you guys want to look and have me do. And as always, follow my Instagram at that Montoya Kid. My Twitter, my Snapchat is also at that Montoya Kid. I also have my Etsy shop, House of Montoya, up. That really helps me a lot to buy more stuff, do more creative junk. So um, definitely go check that out. Thank you guys, and until next time, peace out, Cub Scouts.